Hi. Just another quick, I hope, budget beating tip for you. I haven't been online in a while. I haven't been on YouTube in a while. Um, so I'm going to try to make this quick. Um, sometimes when you're budget beating, budget beating means cheap. <laughs> you bought cheap findings that were, um, forget about silver plated, just silver tone. And when you buy that, oftentimes, over time, you know, sometimes in as little as a couple of months, it will tarnish. That's what happened in this case. Um, these are like real freshwater pearls, dye, but real. But the metal that I used, this, this pendant attachment, and these beads in between the pearls, um, not so much the chain, but, but these things, they were a bright silver when I made this, when I made this piece. And this was made last summer, and it tarnished. I wore it out in the sun maybe twice, um, and then I just hung it up on my jewelry display, and um, I guess, you know, it's in front of the window, so the sunlight got to it. These things turned black. And because of their shape, um, it's not really possible for me to take a, a polishing cloth and, you know, get in there and make them shiny again. On top of the fact that since they're silver plated, anything that's plated, eventually, the more you rub to clean, you're just going to rub the plating off of it. <laughs> so, in this case, there's nothing I can do but remake this. And of course, I don't want to use silver plated anything, so one budget beating tip is, if you don't want to use silver plated, or silver tone, I should say, or gold tone, metal pieces, which you know will turn, um, you can use, I want every part of the, um, the finding turn, the, the one that I use for the earrings, they turn too. You can use silver colored or gold colored pearls. Um, glass pearls are just fine. And um, I got these from Joann's, I think, and they were like a dollar. And I, I know I had a coupon, so I'm sure they were a dollar. Um, and these, while um, the glass may crack and break over time, it will not, for some reason, the, the, the color that they put on glass pearls, when it's silver or gold colored, stays. And um, the only caveat is that you have to find them small enough so that, um, you know, they will act more spacers in your design, if that's what you were originally going to use the... the the silver tone or the gold tone metal for. And um, they're cheaper often than the packs of um, Heshi or um, what do they call them, daisy spacers that you can buy in the store. And they'll last longer. And um, sometimes though this tip doesn't go well if you know you don't want any kind of like glass in your design. Um, and also it doesn't work if the only colors that you can find is, is that real pale silver color that's not even quite silver, it's more like a gray. Um, but they do have, you know, bright silver colored pearls and bright gold colored glass pearls. And um, they are a good stand-in for gold tone or silver tone metal that you know is going to tarnish. The second budget beading tip I have is we want to make, um, when we make costume jewelry, we want to make it Often, you know, or, or when we make jewelry on a budget, we want our jewelry to go as far as it can. And um, if you're a little bit like me, where you've bought enough beads to make the, you know, um, a matching bracelet, a um, necklace, bracelet, and earrings, that's fine. But sometimes, and depending on what you do, the bracelet is not really going to get that much wear you'll wear the necklace and the earrings more. Well, oh, actually this is an example of two kinds of budget beadings. The first thing is, um, I did have enough beads to make this, but I didn't have enough beads to make the whole necklace. Well, you don't need to. What you need is about enough beads to say go maybe, you know, six, you know, 12 inches on either side, you know, you know make it 12 inches around, and then look at the metal on your pendant or the metal spacer beads that you're going to use and find a coordinating metal chain and fill in the rest of the necklace with that. And it looks nice. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. Um, most times what people see is, is this part on your neck. Most people don't even see the chain. 
But the, the, the real budget beating tip I have is oftentimes um, when you buy the clasps, they come in packs of like three or four and you're like, oh, I only needed the one clasp. No, no, no. If you make a matching set, use the same clasp on your bracelet that you do on your necklace and then you can, well this is a bad example because I, I made this strictly as a bracelet, I added a little, um, a little um, decorative thing on the bracelet, but if this wasn't there, if this thing wasn't there, this toggle clasp could then attach to this and I've now extended the length of my necklace. So my necklace is budget both ways. It's budget in terms of I used beads and filled in the rest with chain, but it's also budget in that I can make it a little longer, but still the, um, and it looks like it coordinates because I use the same clasp. And if you're going to do that, try to find a clasp, uh, a pair of clasps that have some, not this obviously, but ha that have some decorative detail or some, you know, crystals on them or, or something, because that's part of your design too. And you can, you know, get a lot more use from your jewelry and a lot more use out of, you know, you feel like, you know, you've made a good investment in what you've bought if you can make it work two or three ways. So that's my tip and thank you very, very much. And thank you to anyone who subscribed. I'm sorry I'm so lagging behind in videos. Um, <laughs> I will try to do more in the future. Thank you so much for all the comments you made. Thank you.